Hi, this is Ronnie. I want to write, uh, well, sorry, I want to read you out something. This is going to be about the UK Fruit Fest, so that's what I'm going to speak a little about in this video. And what I want to do is I want to try and reach as many people as possible about this event. And we've got a Facebook group, we've got a, um, some videos up on YouTube, we've got a website and all this, but I want to try and get you know more people to hear about this. So my proposal to you, I have a letter here that I've written out and my proposal is if you think there's anyone out there you think would be interested in receiving some information about this and a personal letter <laughs> from myself then get in touch and uh, and I'll read out the letter for you. So this is also for all the people that are thinking of coming to the Fruit Fest in the UK and are maybe holding back or they're not sure or anything else. Um, they've not we've not gained their confidence in in what we're doing. So for you and I guess just for anyone else interested. But uh, Yeah, so I'll, I'll read this out. Here we go. My name, hi, my name is Ronnie Smith. I hope that you'll invest a little time into listening to this video, as I really want to share with you something I think may be of great value to you. I'm speaking to you here from where I live in Glasgow, Scotland, where the weather has been gradually getting warmer recently and the fruit trees I planted last year are beginning to show some life. And I've just taken delivery of eight more, so they've, they'll find a place for them. Um, fruit, has become, fruit has become a passion for me since I started experimenting with a fruit-based raw food diet in September 2012. I'd always loved fruit and ate more of it than the average person, but it had never occurred to me to eat it as a meal, let alone as the basis of your diet. When I came across this information, based mostly on the work of Dr. Douglas Graham, and especially his book The 80-10-10 Diet, it seemed to make so much sense and answered many questions that I'd always had. You see, I, probably like many of you, have a very curious mind and as I walk through life I am not content to accept things at face value. I like to prod and poke around and find out why things are the way they are. Sometimes while walking in nature I would try to imagine what it would be like as a human living without all the inventions of modern day society. How would I acquire food? How would I keep myself warm? Uh, how would I make clothes and all this? And it struck me, why are humans the only animals that seem to have to do this? And I also like to think I'm a little more open-minded than some people, so I'm willing to give things a go that maybe don't seem to be the norm. And that's led to me to many great experiences in life, and it has facilitated a great deal of personal growth for me. And growth. So <laughs> Coming across the concept of human beings as frugivores, and otherwise having a body designed to best thrive on a fruit-based diet was a massive aha moment for me. Many things clicked into place and the truth of it seemed completely undeniable. Consider our instincts and behaviours. We have a sweet tooth, a desire for colourful juicy food, we have hands that are perfect for opening fruits and from an early age we have a strong desire to climb fruit uh, trees. Not fruit trees because not many around but trees. <laughs> But not only did this seem to make sense in theory, the actual experience of putting this into place was remarkable. My experiment started by eating what was to most people a huge number of bananas for breakfast and lunch for about a week. I immediately felt huge benefits. After a week, small lingering pains that I assumed were a sign of ageing simply disappeared and I was amazed by how easy and natural it felt to digest a large amount of fruit. I felt a childlike and playful level of energy and my consciousness and state of mind felt like they were receiving a kind of upgrade. But there was something bigger than that that really sold me on it. Joy. This is the biggest secret of the 80-10-10 lifestyle. I don't know exactly why this is, but a simple meal of just bananas, eaten as a smoothie or one at a time, has at times put me in a state of incredible gratitude in which the universe seems in perfect order and everything is beautiful. And you may find it hard to believe, but I've, I've been virtually moved to tears eating this way. For me, this is one of the biggest reasons I continue to eat this way. For It just feels so good, so right, and you get these wonderful periods of joy and bliss now and then. <laughs> Without all the meditation and the yoga and everything else. 
As I found myself on a path that not many were on, I reached out to local raw food groups and people and raw food people, but found that many of them had left raw foods and veganism completely and started eating meat and dairy again. I was looking for people to learn from in real life and for a sense of community. And this led me to go to the Woodstock Fruit Festival in 2012. This is an annual event held in upstate New York and it's probably by now the biggest raw food event in the world. While there I got to meet not only some of the leaders in the raw food movement, but I got to share time with some really fantastic people that have become very dear and precious friends to me. I basked in the warm sense of community and the simple joy of eating fruit meals together. I returned home with a desire to try and spread the message a little to my own community. I started a local, local fruit luck group and created a Facebook group to try to meet more people in my area. I started a YouTube channel and began posting simple videos about my diet and lifestyle as a fruitarian. I'm just checking that it's still recording, yeah. <laughs> I organised a raw vegan burns night which was packed with 25 people all enjoying a raw vegan haggis meal uh, and the next day I flew to Thailand to uh, meet with some of the friends that I'd met at Woodstock, particularly Connor McMillan and I also met a few other, uh, Jake and Jonas and Chris and Tyrell, a few other people out there um, and Louise and Paul and Julia, but sorry I'm digressing. That was the start of a year of going to, going to different places, travelling and going to different events. I went to fruit festivals in Denmark, Slovenia and Spain as well as returning to Woodstock and I want to say that all of these events are completely unmissable and you should check them out. My only personal problem was that I would make these amazing friends, have a great time, learn so much but uh, all the people I met lived thousands of miles away or hundreds <laughs> or a plane, a couple of plane flights away or whatever. Uh, so the idea started to grow with, within me of putting on an event like this in the UK. I mentioned the idea to Dr Douglas Graham and he said he would support it and this made me seriously consider the event could be a reality. With the help of some friends I organised a smaller event called Fruit Camp UK where I managed to gather together 30 people who were either already following or interested in the raw vegan diet. It was a simple event that I think everyone enjoyed immensely. I asked if anyone would help to work on a larger scale fruit festival and we had a meeting that night to decide what we wanted to do. The teams worked together tirelessly to get the UK Fruit Fest together. I'm incredibly proud of what we've managed to achieve in such a short space of time. And I'm thrilled to offer this event to you. I just want to pause with the story for a moment to say that my goal with this video is to reach out to people who are thinking of coming to the festival, but something is holding them back. I want to give you reassurance that we will be providing you with a top quality event and that you will receive great value for your money and time that you will spend there. So what exactly do we have to offer you? The UK Fruit Fest is a five day event from the 25th to the 29th of June. All of the food accommodation and activities are provided for within the price. We will have daily lectures on many aspects of the raw food diet, given by well respected and known leaders of the movement, uh, and I'll speak a little bit more about them later. As well as lectures, we will have a range of daily activities, yoga, tai chi, di uh, jive dancing classes, fitness activities, a running race challenge, a strong man or strong movement competition and there'll be an abundance of seasonal delicious fruits and daily salad meals that, you'll, that will give you an insight into how satisfying and tasty raw food can be. Our venue is outstanding. Situated in rural, rural Devon, the Duvale Priory can easily accommodate up to 120 people in its three large houses. Each house has its own large garden attached and should you wish to bring a dog they can roam freely within these gardens. There is ample room in each house for socialising and relaxing together and a kitchen in each one which we hope we'll be able to utilise for food demos. There is a large hall in which we hope to gather everyone together for our keynote speeches which can also double as an indoor fitness space if needed. There is a large kitchen and dining area which will provide a great setting for daily meals and socialising. And let me speak to you about some of the presenters that we have coming. Dr Douglas Graham. Dr Graham is widely regarded as one of if not the top expert in the world on the raw vegan diet. His teachings, as outlined in the book The 80-10-10 Diet, have gathered a large and ever-expanding following group of fruit lovers around the world who share in the vibrant health and state of well-being provided by this fresh and natural approach to eating. He has a limitless knowledge on the subject of health, fitness and nutrition and will be able to answer any questions you have in these areas no matter how big or small. He has a wealth of experience in coaching athletes to improve their performance and was a top level gymnast and trampolinist in his time. He's worked with uh, people like tennis player Martina Navratilova and uh, NBA professional basketball player Ronnie Grandison, 
both were able to extend their careers beyond the usual retirement age. At the other levels of the spectrum, he supervised over a thousand fasts at his own personal fasting retreats. He's an expert in the process of fasting for not only regaining health, but also in improving athletic performance. The level of regard he is placed in is evident in the fact that he is repeatedly invited back for the role as keynote speaker at raw food events all over the globe. Uh, Dr. Graham will be running daily morning fitness classes that will change you, challenge you no matter what level of fitness you've achieved. These classes are always fun and imaginative and throughout he spreads his words of wisdom on a high level of fitness as being key to being in truly good health. He will also be offering a daily food demonstration workshop to highlight how easy and delicious the 810 diet can be. His knowledge in this area is really invaluable and will surely leave the festival a number of different recipe ideas that you will continue to use over the years. Um, I'm going to speak about other speakers. I've not went into as much detail because um, I've just not had the time to. <laughs> but Professor Rosalind Graham, as well as being a proud mother to Francesca, Rosalind Graham is a truly a leading light in the raw vegan movement. Having particular experience with bringing up a child on a raw vegan diet, she'll be able to answer your questions and concerns on going through pregnancy and bringing up a child on a raw vegan diet. An inspiring speaker, I have personally experienced her ability to move entire rooms full of people, this is true, to tears with her powerful lectures on how the raw vegan diet is the phoenix of humanity rising from the ashes of the cooked food world. And there's so much more to say about Rosalind Graham. She's an absolute genius and you should come, <laughs> you should come just to meet her and, uh, and get a chance to hang out with her, with her and, and learn from her, she's amazing. Uh, Grant Campbell. Uh, and she's Doug Graham's wife as well. <laughs> I just I didn't want to say that at the start, as if because that's it's. I don't think you should say that about a person. I don't know. Women don't like that being told being that she's the wife of that person. So you say it at the end. I don't know. <laughs> Grant Campbell is the director of education for food and sport, an eight-year or more raw vegan and experienced ultramarathon runner. He is a testament, testament to the performance enhancing capabilities of the 8 to 10 10 diet as he continues to set new personal bests every year. He has been a regular feature at fruit festivals around the world for the last few years and impresses everyone with the energy and enthusiasm that he brings to the event and the many different talents he has to share. Um, he really is a, a, a great addition to all the events he goes to. He leads a lot of walking groups, running groups, uh, teaches classes and, and whatnot. Um, he's known as a raw Aussie athlete and he does retreats in Thailand, maybe in Australia as well, but he definitely does uh, retreats in Thailand, one's coming up in May I think, so have a, have a look for that. Chris Kendall is a registered holistic nutritionist and a long term 801010 raw vegan that shares his own unique perspective on his website therawadvantage.com and his YouTube channel. A talented chef, he is the author of a number of different recipe books on raw vegan cuisine, such as Frickin' Raw Some Recipes. And his talents have been showcased at the, the Woodstock Fruit Festival, in which he's been the head chef for three years, and at his own retreats hosted at the Farm of Life in Costa Rica. He's a yoga teacher, an expert skateboarder, and he has an awful lot to share with everyone. Um, if you ask him kindly, he may, uh, <laughs> he may, he might uh, do a talk or a class or something. Um, so we'll see what happens and Katie Crane she's going to be our chef for the event not only is she an 8 to 10 10 chef with years of experience um, she's been the executive chef at Dr Graham's food and sport events but she's also a talented illustrator and has created the drawings for Ros Graham's newly released book Mabel and the Label I think that's the name of it Mabel and the Label, pretty sure um, on top of all this, she's co-authored the recently released Simply Delicious Recipe Guide. I have no doubt she will do an excellent job in the kitchen and will be providing you with some raw vegan food that you will not forget. Anne Osborne uh, is, a, is another that we are hoping to come, uh, has been following an ethical vegetarian path for 20 years, both in the UK and now in Australia where she lives in the tropical sunshine with her son Cappy who has also followed the raw vegan diet since birth. She has inspired many people with her book Fruitarianism Path to Paradise, available from her website fruitgod.com. As well as that main team of presenters, we'll have a whole host of other people offering their talents towards the event. Paul Miller, a raw vegan and long-term practitioner of the martial arts, will be providing his fantastic Tai Chi classes. Matthew Tolley will be uh, taking us through the basics to jive dancing and will hopefully be sharing his 
encyclopedic knowledge on the history of jive. It really, uh, he's he's got quite a lot to say about jive dancing. Um, both of these guys did an excellent job at, at, at fruit camp, and they're both kind of they both do a lot on the uh, on Facebook and everything. Matthew's got a Facebook group called UK Fruit Lovers, which is probably the biggest fruitarian, fruit-based diet group on uh, on Facebook for the UK. So who and what are, is the Fruit Fest? What are our aims and ambitions and what are we hoping to go with? I suppose it started as a thought in my mind that I was excited by and began sharing with others. We came together with a goal of putting on an event in the UK to rival the other great events we'd, we had been to throughout the world. To have a focus for the raw vegan community within the UK and to give people the experience of learning from some of the leaders of the movement at an event that was in their own backyard. It also made sense as Doug and Rosalind have been living in the UK for years and have particular experience of the challenges of following a raw food diet in, in the UK. So that's basically what I've written so far, so about four pages or so, A4. And I just want to go into now, hopefully you've you've continued to watch, but for all those people that are uh, wanting to come and are worried about things and don't know who we are and everything, we're a committee of nine people. We came together at Fruit Camp, we came together to try and put on an event. We all agreed that we wanted, I put forward the idea that we they, we, we should have Doug and Rosalind as the keynote speakers, the, the, the speakers, main speakers, and and we all agreed to that, and we've been working on that, and that's that's that was about it was <laughs> was the idea at that time, and we have set up a goal which is to uh, create a, an annual fruit festival in the UK to celebrate and demonstrate that a low-fat raw vegan diet is most optimal for our health, and uh, to give people support, community, and education in achieving that aim. So that's our our goal. Um, that's what we want to do, that's what our focus is on, is to make this event successful and if you have any doubts, we've got a video with the venue on it and what the accommodation's like and if you really have any concerns then I want you to phone me personally, my phone number is 07936 875064 that's 07936 875064 so if you have any concerns, any issues, phone me personally and speak to me if you if there's anything you want to speak about that you're concerned about, that you're worried about, and we will try and meet all your needs and accommodate you in whatever way we can, uh, as much as possible. So the event is £525 for five days, um, but if you pay in the next week, the date uh, changes at 11th, yeah. So from the 11th of April forward, it goes up to £525, but before that it's £465. So you go to our website, fruitfest.co.uk, www.fruitfest.co.uk, and you can register there and we'll give you the information to pay and it's a fantastic price for what we're going to offer. Honestly, it's it's about as good as it, as it can get for us in the UK. <laughs> um, if we asked, if we just had a field maybe for camping or if we had no guests at all getting free rooms and free accommodation and everything else, if we had people bring in their own food, you know, we could do something like that. We could just all meet up in London or something <laughs> and go to fruit markets. It could be really cheap, nothing. But this is about an immersion. This is about coming together to immerse yourself for five days around other people who are in, in the line with you, with, with your health goals, with your fitness goals, and with people that can teach you, that have been doing this for a long time, that can help you raise your standard. It can also... It's also going to be a place you're going to meet a lot of friends. And I don't know why this happens, but you meet a lot of close friends at these events. 
I certainly feel like this diet opened me up a lot, brought me a lot of confidence and when I went to these festivals and these events I was probably more confident because of the way I'd been eating and everything and I was more open in speaking with people and I just met so many amazing precious friends you know, that that I, I love, cherish and I stay in touch with and that's one thing is that they're all on the other side of the world or somewhere else so I just thought to, to bring that more over here in the UK um, and the one thing I want to say as well is that if you're concerned about or thinking about the price and all that all the committee members are all paying to go so we're all, we're all paying as well, we're all invested in it we're all hoping to make this as, as good as possible for ourselves um, but we we are going to take on all the all the stress, all the organisation. We just want you to come and have a great time, and I don't know. That's that that's the goal. Make this as good as possible. If you have anything you want to contribute to the event, then let us know. Um, we've got a limited amount of volunteers. We've got quite a lot of people have asked to be volunteers already. But if you if you want to speak to us, then send us your, your message. We're going to get the volunteers sorted soon. So, what are we waiting for? Sign up for the event, come to the event, experience it, you will not regret it. 465 for, till the end of the week, and then it goes up to 525. Still an excellent price, still a fantastic price for, for this event, for what we're offering. And when you leave, you'll not, you'll not even remember the money, you'll not think about it. You'll just think about the great time you had, it's like getting transported into just another, I don't know, another level, another paradigm of health, another paradigm of, um, yeah, a paradigm of health, I suppose, is what I want to, you know. I don't want to come across too much like this is a sales pitch or anything, or this is a thing, but I really want this to work, you know. I really want this festival to work. I want, I want all the festivals to be successful, and they're all, as I was saying, they're all unmissable, fantastic events. But there's space for these for it to grow and to continue to grow. So I want to see you there at UK Fruit Fest. I want to see what you can contribute, what you can offer. And I want to meet you as a friend, as a colleague, <laughs> as a, I don't know what else, as a comrade. Um, so please share this video around with people you know as much as you can. And as I was saying with this letter, I'll probably change it a little bit. But if you've got anyone that you know you think would be interested, maybe you don't want to come or you're not interested, but you know someone that's a bit of a weird, like, vegan, fruitarian guy that you think might be interested or whatever, then let us know who they are and uh, you could give us their address or we could contact them by email or whatever. And but I could send this out to them with all the details. And one last thing, we have an event putting on on the 12th of April in London, that's next Saturday. If this video, if you're watching this video in the future you've obviously missed it, but 12th of April in London. If you go on Facebook you'll find the events page. It's at the St Mary's Hall on um, 134 Abbey Road in London. I'm not sure if that's a famous Abbey Road, it might be. Abbey Road in London. So and that'll be about 7pm. 7, 7 Doors will be 6.45pm. I'm sorry this is a very long video and taking up your time, but I hope you've you've watched it and enjoyed it. So please come to the Fruit Fest. Uh, just another week or so before the price goes up. So take advantage of that £465. I promise you won't. You will not regret this. <laughs> We're going to have an amazing time. I assure you, I've been to Fruit Festivals, I've been to so many, and they just don't fail. They're just always excellent. And Having Doug, uh, Doug there to sort of lead it uh, as being the main speaker, he's just fantastic at that. He's the he's the kind of expert, <laughs> you know. So uh, that's that's my appeal to you. Thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye.